Building muscle can become a challenging and time-consuming process. A lot of guys slow down the muscle building process without even realizing it. Hey man, Gary Walker here and welcome back for another video. In this video, I'm going to give you some key factors that will help you build more muscle in half the time. But before we discuss those strategies, take a moment to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. How long does it take to build muscle? Are you trying to figure out when your hard work at the gym is gonna start paying off in new muscle gains? Well, there are several variables that play a part in your ability to build more muscle. For instance, some of the factors are genetics, your nutrition habits, your training, and your hormones. Also, the type of weight you're trying to add is necessary to consider as well. You probably want to focus on gaining muscle, not excess fat or fluids, right? For most, gaining half pound of weight a week represents a relatively quick rate of healthy weight gain. And for others, the rate of muscle gain may be even slower. Building muscle requires adequate nutrients from food. The food is used to fuel your workouts and provide nourishment to optimize recovery. Both are crucial for speedy muscle gains. So let's dive dive into the four crucial keys that will help you build muscle in half the time. The first is knowing what type of nutrition your body needs to ramp up your testosterone production and also maximize your recovery. Let me start by saying all macronutrients are important from muscle growth. However, the daddy of them all is protein, man. How can we talk about building muscle without talking about protein, right? My protein recommendation is one gram of protein per pound of your goal body weight. For example, if you weigh 160 pounds, but you wanna get to 180 pounds, then you need to shoot for 180 grams of protein per day. Some good sources of proteins include chicken, turkey, eggs, salmon, Greek yogurt, lean beef, beef and protein shake. I prefer whole food protein first, but if you struggle to get your recommended protein in strictly from food, then you can make up the difference with protein shakes. One caveat though, not all protein is created equal. Stay away from the concentrates and focus more on the higher grade proteins. Stick to whey isolate, hydrolyzed whey, or beef protein. You can also try adding a scoop of casein protein before bed to help increase muscle protein synthesis at night. Casein is a slower digesting protein and will give you a steady release of amino acids to help with recovery and reduce muscle breakdown while you're sleeping. Okay, the next crucial macronutrient is carbohydrates, man. Carbs are your body's preferred foods for fueling your muscles. Carbs break down into glucose and are quickly converted into energy. This energy helps to power your brain and your workouts. Building muscle requires adequate energy to fuel your intense workouts. If you cut carbs too low, then you tend to lack focus and energy that is crucial for fast muscle gains. You need to be able to sustain intense workouts consistently if you want to speed up your muscle gains. Some of the best carb choices are potatoes, rice, quinoa, whole grains, sweet potatoes, oatmeal, fruit, and beans. These carbs will provide great fuel and provide essential nutrients to maximize your recovery. All right, let's move on to fats. Healthy fats are not only essential for optimizing testosterone levels, but they're also the most calorie dense macronutrient. So this helps your overall calorie surplus, which is required to build more muscle. To build muscle, you need to consistently eat in a caloric surplus. This would be hard to do without fats in your diet. Your body also relies on fat to fuel your longer workouts. Short, intense workouts will utilize carbs for energy first, but as you push through your workouts, your body will burn through carbs and then it will turn to fats for fuel. This allows you to optimize your higher volume hypertrophy workouts. There is also a muscle building chain reaction that begins with healthy fats. When you eat healthy fats, it increases levels of HDL, the good cholesterol. HDL helps increase growth hormone which in turn triggers more amino acids. This leads to building more muscle. Healthy fats also help with the absorption of nutrients in your body. Some of the best sources of fats to help you speed up your muscle gains are egg yolk, fatty fish like salmon, nuts, seeds, olives, avocados, olive oil, coconut oil, fish oil, and nut butters. Incorporating all three of these macronutrients will ensure you have an abundance of nutrients 
and calories to help you add more muscle quickly. The next key factor in your muscle building quest is resistance training. Lifting weights is essential to build muscle effectively. The important point I wanna make here though is that you need to have a plan and a plan that needs to be geared towards muscle building. I say this because I've seen a lot of guys following a plan that's specific for strength training or power lifting. This will lead to great strength gains, but these workouts aren't optimal for muscle building quickly. These are two great goals, but two different goals. To maximize muscle as quickly as possible, you need something designed specifically for hypertrophy. These workout plans are mid to high reps with your exercises. They allow for more volume, less rest time between sets to increase time under tension and have different techniques to maximize intensity like tricon sets, drop sets, super sets, and giant sets. With this said, you still wanna make sure you incorporate multi-joint compound movements like squats, deadlifts, chest presses, pull-ups, and shoulder presses. Doing these exercises will maximize your testosterone levels as well. You also wanna utilize some unilateral movements and isolation movements to increase mind-muscle connection and to prevent any imbalances that can lead to underdeveloped muscles or even injuries. Some of these exercises are like lunges, bicep curls, tricep extensions, and leg curls. If you need actual workouts, then please check out some of my other YouTube videos, man. I have a lot of workouts on my channel. I also offer my inexpensive coaching program. It's less than 50 bucks a month, $47. If you want a workout designed specifically for you, that's what I'll do. I'll create your workout and change it up every 30 days to keep you challenged and keep you motivated. If you're interested in this, then leave a comment in the comment section below with the words, I'm ready to grow. And I'll send you a message with a discount code so you can get started as soon and as quickly as possible. Okay, so let's move on to the last two key factors that will help you build muscle in half the time. The next one are rest days. Rest days are mandatory. Are you the one who thinks that lifting more weight more often will result in more growth? If so, that's unfortunately not how it works, man. Muscle growth happens during periods of rest. If you're lifting weights every day, you're constantly tearing down your muscle tissues and not giving them a chance to heal and strengthen. You can't grow if you don't allow adequate time for rest and recovery. Working out every day can lead to overtraining and muscle loss as well. Being extremely sore all the time is typically a good indicator if you're doing too much. Instead, take rest days as you need them, at least one to two days a week. Even three days of resistance training per week can help you build muscle faster than one week of continuous workouts. Work hard in the gym and then feed your muscle adequate nutrients to fuel growth and replenishment, and then give your body, mind, and central nervous system rest to optimize recovery. You also wanna make sure you're getting good sleep each night. We need seven to eight hours of sleep a night for our cells to enter a phase of repair and rejuvenation. If you aren't sleeping enough or getting quality sleep, the process of repairing damaged tissue becomes less effective and can lead to poor gains and even injury. Also, poor sleep can increase the production of a stress hormone, cortisol, which can lead to numerous side effects that will completely derail your progress. Okay, now for the last important key factor, you need to make sure you're pushing yourself, man. You need to commit to working hard, commit to challenging yourself. Be better tomorrow than you were today. Be better next week than you were this week. You also need to set daily goals and work on them. One of the biggest issues I see with guys trying to build more muscle is they half-ass their workouts. Just going through the motions and not really being present in the workout. You need to be focused and think about every single rep you execute. Make each rep perfect. Make each set perfect. Do this with every exercise and every workout. This will lead to a better overall mindset and will keep you mentally engaged. Your mind is a powerful tool, so you need to use it during your workouts. Also, try to compete with yourself, man. Increasing weights or reps from week to week will keep your body from adapting to the same workload. This will lead to new muscle growth 
quickly. If you do the same weight and the same reps day in and day out, then there's no need for your body to build more muscle. It will adapt to that current workload. However, if you increase weight or you increase reps or intensity, then your body will respond by increasing strength or building muscle to keep up with the demand you're placing on it. This is the key for rapid gain. Well, man, if you follow these tips, you can build more muscle in less time and more effectively. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And remember, if you're interested in having me write a workout program for you and give you access to my workout app, then leave a comment. I'm ready to grow, man. Start it as quickly as possible. Well, thanks for watching this video. And as always, get busy, get after it, and God bless.